It was a sweltering summer evening in the small town of Maplewood, where the annual Miss Maplewood beauty pageant was the highlight of the season. The town square was buzzing with excitement as townsfolk gathered to support their favorite contestants. The makeshift stage was adorned with glittering lights, and the air was thick with the scent of freshly popped popcorn and cotton candy. Backstage, the contestants were a flurry of nerves and excitement. Among them was Emma Turner, a quiet and introverted girl who had reluctantly entered the pageant at the insistence of her overbearing mother. Emma's mother had always dreamed of pageant glory, and she saw her daughter as the vessel to fulfill that ambition. Emma had never felt comfortable in the spotlight. She preferred the solitude of her room, where she could lose herself in books and art. But tonight, she was dressed in a shimmering gown, her makeup applied with meticulous precision, her hairstyle to perfection. She forced a smile as she looked at herself in the mirror, the image of a perfect pageant contestant staring back at her. As the pageant progressed, the contestants paraded across the stage, each receiving their share of applause and cheers. Emma felt a knot tightening in her stomach with every step she took. Her mind was a whirl of anxiety and self-doubt, exacerbated by the pressure her mother had placed on her. The talent portion of the competition was next. Emma's talent was a piano piece she had practiced endlessly, but as she sat at the grand piano, her hands trembled uncontrollably. She struck the first note, and it came out wrong. The audience murmured, and Emma's vision blurred with tears. She tried to continue, but her performance was a disaster. The polite applause that followed was a humiliating reminder of her failure. Backstage, her mother's disappointment was palpable. How could you mess up like that, she hissed, her face contorted with anger. You've ruined everything. Emma felt something snap inside her. The weight of years of pressure, the constant belittling, and the humiliation of the evening boiled over into a seething rage. She stormed out of the backstage area, her breath coming in ragged gasps. She needed to get away, to clear her head. But as she wandered through the darkened hallways of the town hall, a sinister thought took root in her mind. The rage she felt needed an outlet, and the idea of revenge began to fester. She found herself in the utility room, where she spotted a set of knives used by the catering staff. Without fully realizing what she was doing, she grabbed one of the knives, its blade glinting menacingly in the dim light. The next segment of the pageant was the evening gown competition. The contestants were lined up backstage, ready to take the stage. Emma rejoined them, the knife hidden beneath the folds of her gown. Her mind was a haze of anger and resentment, her heart pounding in her chest. As the first contestant stepped onto the stage, Emma's grip tightened around the knife. When it was her turn, she walked out with a cold determination, her eyes scanning the audience. She saw her mother in the front row, her expression a mix of frustration and disappointment. The sight fueled Emma's rage even further. Suddenly, without warning, she lunged at the nearest contestant, plunging the knife into her back. The girl screamed in agony, and the audience erupted into chaos. Emma moved with a terrifying efficiency, attacking anyone who came near her. The stage became a scene of horror as blood splattered the pristine gowns and screams filled the air. The crowd tried to flee, but the narrow exits created a bottleneck, trapping many inside. Emma's rampage was relentless. She slashed and stabbed with a fury that seemed almost inhuman. The other contestants, the pageant organizers, and even some of the audience members fell victim to her wrath. The police arrived quickly, alerted by the panicked calls of the townsfolk. Officers stormed the building, their weapons drawn, but the sight that greeted them was beyond anything they had imagined. The stage was a bloodbath, bodies strewn across the floor, and in the midst of it all, Emma stood, her gown soaked in blood, her eyes wild with rage. Drop the knife, an officer shouted, his voice trembling. But Emma was beyond reasoning. She advanced towards the police, the knife held high. The officers had no choice. They opened fire, the deafening gunshots echoing through the hall. Emma's body jerked with each bullet that struck her, and she collapsed to the floor, the knife clattering from her hand. The silence that followed was haunting. The officers moved cautiously, checking for survivors and securing the scene. 
Emma's lifeless body lay amidst the carnage, her once beautiful gown now a macabre testament to her descent into madness. In the aftermath, Maplewood was forever changed. The town's pride and joy, the Miss Maplewood beauty pageant, was tainted with blood and tragedy. The townsfolk struggled to comprehend the horror that had unfolded, and the name Emma Turner became synonymous with terror. For Emma's mother, the guilt was unbearable. She had pushed her daughter to the brink, and the consequences were devastating. She couldn't escape the memories of that night, the sight of her daughter's final, rage-filled moments forever etched in her mind. The town hall, once a symbol of community and celebration, was abandoned, its doors locked and windows boarded up. The memory of the massacre lingered like a dark cloud, a reminder of the fragile line between ambition and obsession, and the horrors that can be unleashed when that line is crossed. As the years passed, the story of the Miss Maplewood Massacre became a grim legend, a cautionary tale told to young girls who dreamed of pageant glory. And though the wounds eventually healed, the scars remained, a chilling reminder of the night when innocence was shattered and a small town was plunged into unimaginable horror. <laughs>